hope you're doing really well. It is filthy weather here in the Peak District. Absolutely torrential rain. And I've got an eight hour gravel ride planned. But it will be fun. I mean, the rain is its just, it's only water, so not to worry about the rain. Um, what's more of a concern is the fact that I'm going with my friend Nick, who is, or at least was, National Masters Trek Champion. So, I mean, Nick is, Nick is like crazy strong. Nick is turning up to gravel stage races and winning. In fact, he asked me to partner him on a gravel stage race before, and I was too worried that I would slow him down to even accept his invitation. But anyway, we are doing a ride and the route has been chosen by Nick. So I think it's about 70 miles. I don't know what that is in kilometres because I always do everything in K because it sounds further and it sounds faster, right? Um, but basically, I think in 2020, they um, did a ride for Charlie ride where they just put out the route and people could go out and ride it on their own because obviously lockdown and restrictions and stuff. And then you would um, donate to the ride for Charlie fund and upload your ride see how you rank that kind of thing so i don't care how i rank i just want to get some good training in the miles and have a nice day with nick it will be nice to contribute to the ride for charlie fund so i'll be making a donation hopefully nick can explain more to you what ride for charlie is what it means more about charlie craig who um ride for charlie was set up in memorial of and uh, other than that we're just gonna have a really really nice ride so come along <laughs> about the 45% cobble climbs too though. Cobbled climb, stroke, cobbled walk, says Nick. I reckon he could probably get up it, not so sure about myself. Oh, I was jealous of your gearing. Oh yeah, I have got much easier gearing. I was just trying to give myself some sort of excuse there and I've been called out publicly. <laughs> Thanks Nick. All down to Mr. Craig. Okay. So Nick is denying all responsibility for this route. What if it's good though? Well, if it's good, then I'll take, I'll take credit. <laughs> no, but really, interesting to see how I find the climbs, because Nick, who designed the route, is a climbing whippet, I hear. You guys know I'm not, right? <laughs> Wish me luck! Oh, thank you. Got way too many <laughs> Pushing. And it's wet. Yeah. And I think we gave it a valiant effort, right? I think we did our best. Yeah. Yeah. Look at it. Well, there's just no grip. Well, within about 25 kilometers, we'd done 600 meters of climbing and I was already thinking, oh God, how are you feeling? I'm all right, yeah, I've just had a cheese oh, sandwich. So. <laughs> In the time I was buying a drink, he's had a cheese sandwich. Damn it, I'm, I'm underprepared. But it is, it is really, really hard. Um, I don't know if I'm the only person that sometimes gets nervous about completing rides. Because it can't just be me. This is one of those rides where I am like, Shit, this is hard. It's that sort of slight sense of unknowing yeah. on this ride. Exactly. We don't really know where we're going. I know I know the area, <laughs> but the exact route's a bit of a mystery. I'm just following the thing. Oh god, there's ridiculous. there's worse to come apparently. Yeah. Anyway, I better hurry up because we won't get back before dark. This is nice. Oh, 
fail. Oh, this is tricky. More cobbles. This is really slowing things down. Did I mention this? Oh, I've still got my, I've still got my face mask on. I didn't realize. Did I mention this ride is quite hard? Did I, did I mention that already? It's quite hard. Look at this bit on the ride, my GPS. Yeah. It looks like the absolute drawings of a madman. Just round and round in circles going up and down this road. <laughs> Swiss Hill. Here we go. Oh, an iconic climb and one that my legs are already complaining about. <laughs> three laps of the three cobble climbs around the Audley Edge. I think we've got Going, going up Bradford Lane again, the first one. But not all the way. Here's me in a sort of triumphant moment, telling you all about what we've just done. Nick reveals there's more to come. No, but it's that flatty one, the flatter one. Okay, yeah. we're going back up another cobble climb. It's pretty brilliant. Like, honestly, when you're going up it, inside my head, I am going, my legs hurt, right legs hurt. And then you get to the top and you're like, yeah, it's brilliant. And then you go down and do another one. You're like, and then you're like, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can take classes in so many cool things from photography and graphic design to macrame and even cooking. Previously I did a really cool um, multimedia self-portrait class which I really enjoyed because in lockdown I've just so wanted to get creative but I didn't really know where to start having not done any artwork since school. I'm currently following a self-care workshop that explores writing, drawing and meditation Teacher Yasmin Cheyenne is setting little journaling prompts and then encouraging us to share and discuss what we're learning. The first thousand people to click the link below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium and after that it's only about $10 a month. I probably shouldn't have eaten the jelly beans before trying to talk to you. Sorry, Mac Forest, longest climb of the ride apparently. Well. Yeah, <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just one of those ones that just drags on. It probably is going to drag on yeah. more psychologically because we're over halfway through the ride. We've done, a, oh, I was about to swear, we've done a lot of climbing. <laughs> we, have, we have done 1,433 metres. Yeah, climbing. we've done a ton of climbing. The legs are feeling it. It's wonderful though. Forest location, sunshine, I mean. Gravel. It's not that bad, is it? Right, let's do this. Right. Uh, you can go if you want. I mean. you sure. <laughs> After you. <laughs> No wonder I'm puffing and panting like an old nana. <laughs> that is so hard, but what a lovely place. What a day. It is amazing, isn't it? Go in for the grass. <laughs> I see Nick skidding. This is so savage, savage, 
Savvy, 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 savvy. With one hand as well. Oh, mate. It's killing me. One minute, I'm like, this is amazing. I'm dying. I'm kind of dying. <laughs> it's only because of your gears. <laughs> yeah, actually. There are I, gear I issues. There yes. has been swearing. Yes, there has been. I haven't mentioned to you about the gear issues. I am having trouble with my gears and I can't ride in the gear that I want and they're slipping and yada, yada, yada. But anyway, we're going to get some Coca-Cola because there's still 40 kilometers to go. Nick says not a lot of climbing left. I'm always skeptical about people who say that. Ah. Hopefully, with a bit of poker, I'll manage to knock out the final 40k. These climbs are really hurting right now. Oh, Jesus. Hey! Oh. It's really, really nice up here. Nice. Yeah. Little lambs. Beautiful scenery. Beautiful very, very painful, painful legs. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, yay. Oh, cobbles. toast <laughs> well what happened next was the camera ran out of batteries and i did want to just tell you a bit more about ride for charlie because i was so caught up in moaning about my legs hurting sorry for all that moaning that i forgot to talk much about the ride for charlie foundation and what they do charlie so ride for charlie what they do is they uh, raise money and then they allocate funds to promising young dedicated off-road riders so they try and get them to the european championships try and provide support for riders who were inspired by or want to follow it follow in the footsteps of Charlie Craig so that's what Ride for Charlie is for and they do events and fundraising initiatives to raise money to help youngsters achieve their dreams basically so a really good thing about the ride I did do a bit of a pre-ride um, chat with Nick where he explained about some of the cobble climbs about how the route had been devised but I lost that footage too. I know, I know, I know. Um, but I think you kind of got a good idea of what the ride was like just by watching the video. Maybe it doesn't matter so much that I didn't um, set you up with the info before we went on the ride. It was an absolutely fantastic route. We didn't follow it to the T because we started and finished at Nick's house, whereas the original route starts and finishes somewhere else. But you can find the route that we did on Strava and presumably the whole Ride for Charlie route is available online. I, I, I guess Nick grabbed that from somewhere, so just Google it. There are a couple of highlights for me. The bit around Audley Edge where we kept looping around and doing all the different cobble climbs was absolutely fantastic, the Swiss hill bit. Obviously the corkscrew was a laugh and I really want to go back and try that again, but um, when it was dry, I'm positive I can ride that when it's dry. I really honestly think it's just because it had been a torrential downpour that I couldn't get up. So I guess that's a challenge for next time I'm in the Peak District. What else did I want to say? Oh yeah, the incredible bit at the end where we went really, really high and there were those sheep and lambs up there. There are amazing views. Oh, that was wonderful. So anyway, I'm gonna stop gassing. If you made it this far, congratulations. Um, I hope you liked the video. Leave me any questions about it. 
check out the route on Strava and um, give me a thumbs up and a sub if you like the video. All right, see ya.